Father Clark, thank you for creating a very special moment in our ceremony. And at the end, we look forward to welcoming you to our alumni association. <laughs> well, we come to this most special moment in the ceremony. Our chairman of the board, Jack Miller, will now perform the installation of President Leahy. Mr. Miller. Good afternoon. As chairman of the Board of Trustees, it is my privilege and pleasure to welcome everyone here this morning and we bear witness to this important moment in the history of Wilkes, the installation of our sixth president, Patrick Leahy. As I cast my glance around the theater, I see represented here almost the entire history of Wilkes. From our alumni class representatives, some who attended Bucknell University Junior College, to our four, four living presidents joining us today, from our trustee Emeriti and faculty Emeriti who have served the world so nobly over all these decades, to the members of the talented faculty and staff, and our current students as well, the, uh, including a couple of members from our uh, new freshman class, who demonstrate daily our mission and values, and these important symbols that are displayed right here remind us of what the Wilkes family believed and to what we aspire. The elegant speaker put me in awe that I had to follow them. But I listened to their testimony and the strength of Wilkes, and the great choice we made to select Pat Leahy as our president. I have known since the selection committee concluded its deliberations that Pat Leahy is the right person at the right time, and he's in the right place for him and for us. I was delighted to hear our selection validated so enthusiastically by each of our speakers. Pat, their words remind you that without hesitation, you can count on the willing assistance of trustees, faculty, staff, students, and alumni, and our entire community, that the entire Wilkes family will work with you for the furtherance of the important work you undertake. As board chair, I couldn't be more proud of Wilkes at this moment, and I so look forward to its future. I now ask Patrick F. Lay to join me at the podium, and with Trustee Jane Sykes and Melanie Maslow also join, also join that and me. The words I use this morning to install Pat, President Leahy as the sixth president of Wilkes are adapted from those spoken by Gilbert S. McClintock, the first chairman of the board of trustees of Wilkes when he, on November 12th, 1947, 65 years ago this fall, in G Eugene S. Farley was installed as our first president. By virtue of the authority vested in me as chairman of the Board of Trustees of Wilkes University, I do now formally install Patrick F. Leahy as president of Wilkes University with full faith in his ability and character to provide wise leadership and set high standards for scholarship for the Wilkes University community. To the end, Wilkes University will stand for learning and truth and the noble ideas for which this institution of higher learning was founded. President Lane, as symbol of your new duties and obligations, Trustee Jenny Sykes, Chair of the Presidential Serve Auction Committee will present to you a copy of the original charter of Wilkes College. We charge you to guard it as the very cornerstone of our corporate existence. As 
another symbol of your office and its responsibilities, Trustee Melanie Maslow, the co-chair of the uh, installation committee, will now present the framed seal of the university, underscored with the university's motto, unity amidst diversity. Reminding you, and all of us at Wilkes, whether we be trustees, students, faculty, or alumni, are members of this special learning community and are committed to each other and to the mission of success of Wilkes University. Ms. Sykes and Ms. Maslow will now place on the uh, place on you the presidential chain of office, portraying the seal of the university and the likeness of our first president, Eugene S. Farley. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the great honor of presenting to you, after 